At the groundbreaking ceremony, President Young recalled that he had seen a vision when he first set foot upon the ground as they surveyed the valley floor, stating, I knew then just as well as I now know that this was the ground on which to erect a temple. It was before me. Ten years later, Brigham Young offered the following prophetic insight at General Conference. I want to see the temple built in a manner that it will endure the millennium, that this is not the only temple we shall build. There will be hundreds of them built and dedicated to the Lord. In reviewing this brief history, I am in awe of the seership of Brigham Young. First, his ensuring that to the extent possible and using construction methods available at that time and place, the Salt Lake Temple would be built in a manner to endure throughout the millennium. And second, his prophesying of the growth of future temples worldwide, even to number them in the hundreds, 